the value of political education is that you are taught to think critically of the system you live in and that you are made to understand that there are other systems available, um, but there are different ways of changing um, the system you live in. When it comes to politics, we usually have a very simplified mainstream narrative because that makes it easier for people to digest uh, everything that's going on. But for a more uh, elaborate discussion, we need outlets such as this uh, summer school, for instance. What's um, important about political education is that we understand the world um, and the various ideologies that we have within them and how that affects us. And I don't think it's important to understand politics from one perspective. I think it's important to understand the various degrees and shades of politics. Uh, I'm talking about human rights versus state sovereignty, which is a very interesting topic, especially what we see in the Syria crisis, of course. Um, and I think it's very important to do this kind of political education uh, because it, in a lot of these situations, so talking about the refugee crisis going on, also talking about the Syria crisis, of course, there's a lot of gut reactions. Um, so people think, uh, have an immediate response, but it's very important that you learn to look at uh, why do states react in a certain way and why do uh, non-state actors act in a certain way. So to see the different motivations and the reasons and how the entire structure um, guides their actions. There are specific kinds of political education that are important. So there's a tendency, especially in the West, to uh, look at places of conflict, and I can only talk from my own experience, where uh, there is this ten the tendency to look at the place as if it is equal. So Palestinians and Israelis as two equal sides fighting among themselves, and, and that is simply a distortion of reality. We have a collective um, responsibility for the things that happened in, uh, in, in the Balkans, that we as individuals, we need to question ourselves constantly and um, ask ourselves uh, how do we want to live and how do we want to organize um, uh, our everyday lives. A place like Serbia is really good for something like this to take place as it's so uh, politically charged, has such a, um, a complicated recent political history which gives the students who may come from other environments that uh, don't have such internal conflicts uh, a better picture of uh, how many different angles you can come uh, from being from a single society. For example, I was asked to give a presentation about uh, the Kosovo crisis and um, it was very interesting uh, preparing, reading up about uh, what, what has happened. But the most important thing was the opportunity to talk to people both from Kosovo and from Serbia. So not only uh, st other students that were from these regions, but also uh, people in the streets uh, that you come across or people in other places. And it was immensely useful for me personally uh, to just uh, step outside of the academic bubble as well and really uh, see how it affected people uh, on the ground. If you can overthrow oppressive regimes in peaceful manners just by affecting the way people think about their culture, about the role of memory, about the role of these meta-narratives that they're taught, um, if it makes sense to use arguments from 700 years ago to justify political actions that have been made in the past 20 years. In order to understand why we live how we do and to understand our societies, we need some sort of understanding of politics and this is a space in which we can try and now understand it further um, and not just from one perspective. There's room for everyone from the left to the right to in between. I, in this sense, I think um, summer schools which are dealing with this kind of question on religion and violence, conflict or um, balkanism are very important um, for uh, a peaceful uh, coexistence. The fact that we do have control over our future should we be willing to engage in a dialogue with others from any background, not just this educational elite or intellectual community that we find ourselves in here, um, but to be able to translate the lessons that we learn to, to anyone.